Hi Dollar Divas, welcome to Behind the Vanity, I'm Jessica. So today I am super excited because I'm gonna be doing a, an almost full face of a brand new brand of makeup I found at the Dollar Tree a couple of weeks ago. Um, I Actually my last video, it's been about a week now, It's it's been busy so I haven't posted anything really this week. But in my last Dollar Tree haul, I found a new brand of makeup called B or B Beauty Essentials Makeup. So I picked up everything they had, um, eyeshadows, eyebrow products, liners, mascara, and um, I think a lip color as well. So I'm gonna be trying it out and testing it out today. So if that sounds good to you, you're definitely in the right place. Um, also, if you like a lot of Dollar Tree oriented makeup and haul content, um, your girl, definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell and you'll be notified of any future uploads. Normally I film three videos a week. Lately it's been two. This past week it's been one. It's been a little bit busy, but, but yes, normally I do about three uploads a week and I love doing a lot of Dollar Tree oriented makeup and haul content. So if you're new, you'll definitely want to make sure you subscribe and become one of my Dollar Divas. Of course, if you're returning, I know I haven't seen you in a little while. Thank you for coming on back. I've missed you all. So without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So in my last get ready with me, um, I forgot that I had a concealer from the Dollar Tree. This one is by e.l.f. It's the Cover Everything Concealer. This is in light. So I'm gonna use that to clean up my brows and this brand does have an eyebrow pencil. So I believe I got, I believe I got dark brown. So this is what the pencil looks like and I'll be using this on my eyebrows today. At my Dollar Tree, they had a couple of other shades. I think they had like a light brown, which looked a little too light for me. I think that was the only couple of colors I saw, but I do tend to favor a little bit of a darker brow. And of course, if you've been on my channel any length of time, you know I love the LA Colors brow pencil. It's my like, it's like my, my go-to for eyebrows. This seems to be about the same as that. The shade seems to be about the same. It's a little bit of a warmer brown, which I don't mind. I kind of feel like once the, um, of course I'm warm skin toned, but I kind of feel like once the, everything gets pulled together, it doesn't matter. But it's going on very creamy, yet not too creamy because if a pencil is too creamy, I tend to mess up a lot. Now what I do miss is the little um, brush at the end. The LA Colors one has a little brush where you can brush your brows, but I always have a spoolie handy anyway as well but I do like that about the LA Colors one. I'm gonna sharpen this up a little bit more. My eyebrows also need to be tweezed a little bit too, so they're a little bit of a mess today, but we will. We always make it work. Okay, they kinda look a mess, but they always come together. You know, they always come together. So I'm gonna take some of this concealer. I kinda think this is gonna do a really good job. I've got the shade light, which I really do like. Ooh, liking it so far. I always have a hard time with concealers from the Dollar Tree and kind of my favorite is the LA Colors Color Correcting Concealer in yellow. But I think this one might be my new favorite. LA Colors has like a regular concealer and at the time I could only find I think like beige and it's just a little darker on my skin that I like a concealer to be. But yeah, good concealers are a little hard to come by at the Dollar Tree. Even with as, met, you know, as many amazing things as they have, concealer isn't usually one of them. Kind of get my brush and smooth it out. We'll also be using this for our under eyes as well. I feel like the brows, are, they're a little much. I'm gonna maybe have to salvage this. I don't think I like this brow pencil as much as I like my LA Colors one. But honestly, I may have gone just a little heavy handed too, because I have been using my LA Colors one pretty much exclusively lately. And you do kind of get used to like the pull of one versus another. So I just really haven't used a whole lot of other brow products in the recent weeks. My, a lot of it's, I'm sure, operator error. But like I said, it's very creamy. I'm gonna put some of this concealer on my lid as well. I love, I'm loving the concealer. It's very creamy. I'm just using like a little bit of a brush. I'm sure you could use your finger. I kind of feel like it, it's helped, definitely helped clean up some of the mess that I have. Okay, so now that we got that done, we're gonna use this later as well for our under eyes and all that kind of thing. So I will do little speed reviews at the end of the video of what I think of all the products. So I've got, I got one of every eyeshadow that they had on the day that I went. They had single eyeshadows 
and they had six different shades. I picked up all six. And in my latest haul, um, I will have it linked down below, I swatched them all for you. And they all seem amazing, beautiful, pigmented, creamy. And they all are either shimmery or kind of a satin. So this is what the little containers look like. And this is the shade Capable. I'm just gonna exclusively use these shadows. I might not, obviously probably won't get to use all six of them, but they will, whatever I don't use will end up in a future video. So I think I'm gonna just kind of use this up to the crease as a little bit of a base color. That's going on with a brush very beautifully. I'm excited to see what these look like wet as well. That's really very pretty. You know, sometimes I forget, you really don't always have to have a matte shadow down. You can, you can use a shimmery shadow. Okay, just wanted to lay that down as a base. So I'm gonna start building up the color. So I think the next shade I'm gonna do is this shade here, Spectacular. It's kind of like a copper shade. I don't know ultimately if this is really gonna do a whole lot. It looks a little darker. So I'm just gonna build this up a little bit and then we're gonna put a darker shade and then I'm gonna pick a shade to go on the inner part of the eye. You know, kind of my signature style that I do a lot. <laughs> These do perform very well with just a brush, not even a wet brush, just a brush. I know they swatch beautifully and so far, so good. Of course, I wish they had a matte, um, but they don't. And they might, they just might not have had it the day that I went to the Dollar Tree. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into the shade Inspiring. It kind of looks matte, but I think it's actually like a satin, but it seems to be about my darkest shade. And I'm gonna take this on the outer part of the eye. In a lot of ways, I think these eyeshadows might actually be better as like a one and done versus trying to use them all together to create a look. Or you could use probably, two of them would probably work well together. Kind of for a one and done, I do like a kind of a shimmery shadow, but something that's not too shimmery. And I think that's kind of what you get with these, especially when they're not wet with the brush. So I do think the, a lot of these would be a really, really good one and done eyeshadow look. There's some fallout. I'm just gonna wait until I'm done using this to clean that up. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with something shimmery. I think I'm actually gonna go in with both, both spectacular and considerate. I'm gonna do considerate kind of on the innermost part and use Spectacular, which we've already used. But I really, I'm gonna use a wet brush this time. I wanna see how these perform. Try to get a really intense shimmer on the inner part of the eye. Of course, I'm using LA Colors Setting Spray. Again, goes on really, really nice. Now I'm gonna use the lightest shade and put that kind of on the innermost part of the eye. And we'll probably use this for an inner corner highlight as well towards the end. Ooh, wow, that shade is way more intense than I would have thought. That's amazing. Yeah, I think that'll definitely, definitely make a really good inner corner highlight, which I kind of drag it down already. I'm gonna have to kind of clean that up before I put my concealer on. Wow. I think I had a Dollar Diva uh, recently tell me that they perform very, very well. And like I said, the swatches were amazing. But yeah, they're going on the eye very beautifully as well. And I know a lot of people really love these types of shades too. So their, safe, their shade selection is really very nice. I think very universal to what a lot of people like, um, which is really nice as well. So I'm gonna hold off on the eyeshadow. We're gonna finish that up and I'm gonna move on to mascara, liner, and lashes. So they do have a mascara. This is the Beauty Essentials Mascara in black, just a very simple tube. And I think I had a Dollar Diva tell me that this is actually really good mascara. Now, granted, I don't have a lot of eyelashes, so it might not work as well for me as it does other people, but I do have some new eyelashes as well. So really not bad. Like I said, I don't have much to work with in the realm of lashes, but, but you can see it really did give me a little bit of lash and really wanna let these dry and then maybe add another coat. So we're gonna move on to the liquid liner and I have a pencil liner, we're gonna use both. So I'm gonna use the liquid liner first and this is just the Bee Beauty Essentials liquid liner in jet black and it kinda has a twist off cap and it has just one of these little traditional brushes, which I'm not very well practiced with because I don't use them very often. But when I swatched this, it was very rich, and so we'll just see how it applies. I 
that's actually really pretty easy to control even though I don't use this type very often. And it's very rich and it's very easy to get a thin line, which can be really kind of hard with liquid liners sometimes. It does an amazing wing kind of on its own. Very, very nice. I really, really like it. I feel like it was easy to get them both even very easily. So yeah, like I said, I'll do speed reviews, but so far, so good. Um, I'm gonna wait to put on my pencil liner until I come back and finish up the eyes on, but I'm gonna go ahead and use these lashes. These are the LA Colors Jewel Eyes False Lashes, and these are in the style Precious, and I actually just used up a pair of these, and they lasted me a really long time. I really, really, really like them. And I'm gonna use the Ioni Lash Glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes, and I will be right back. Okay, lashes are on, so we're gonna move to the face, finish up the eyes, the lips, you know how we do it. So I do not have a new foundation, so I'm just gonna use this new color BB Cream. This is in light. And, oh, and what we do have, though, is a new application method. I actually tried this out one time already, and it was a fail, um, but I was using the LA Colors Liquid Makeup, which I do not love. Um, so I'm gonna, I wanted to try this out again with something else. And it's this e.l.f., again, found at the Dollar Tree, it's this e.l.f. silicone sponge. And then it's got like a, um, kind of a velvety back. And the idea is that you, you kind of spread the makeup with the silicone side and then you buff it in with the velvety side. And then I also had a Dollar Diva suggest that I try using, um, using it to bake. So I'm gonna try both of those things today and just see if I can't get a better result. Of course, the idea with these silicone sponges is that you can use less product than like with a blender or a brush. And I have used the silicone method before. I just have kind of moved away from it in recent months. So we're just gonna kind of spread this around. My skin is kind of in between with these new color and sassy chic foundations and BB creams. I can wear light or medium. I'm kind of probably more on the medium side, but the light works too, especially with some bronzer. I can always make it work. So this foundation, though the BB cream does seem to be spreading a little bit better. And this BB cream, these BB creams, I do find wear more like a foundation than other BB creams I have used. So I'm treating it as, as a foundation. So I'm gonna try to buff this in the way the directions have said. I kind of feel like you have to tap it because if you rub it, it rubs off. So I'm just gonna kind of do more of like a tapping motion to kind of get it into the skin, which the silicone does not really do. Okay, it is definitely performing much, much, much better with this product. So again, I wanna to try to use it again with another foundation, just to make sure at some point, but yeah, it, it, was, it ended up being such a mess in that last Get Ready With Me, which I will have linked down below if you wanna catch it. I was just testing out some new Dollar Tree makeup. A lot of it was e.l.f. and, um, yeah, this is working much better. I actually had to switch to a brush to finish my foundation, but I feel like this is going beautifully. So I am very, I am a whole lot happier. And it's actually, it was doing this weird thing with the other foundation. It does not look nearly as gross as it did with that other foundation. I really don't like the LA Colors liquid makeup. Now granted, the last couple of videos I've made, I've gotten a much better result using it than I had in the past, but it is definitely, one of my least, probably my least favorite foundation from the Dollar Tree. So yeah, I feel I'm very, very happy with that. So like I said, I really did wanna try this again. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use that e.l.f. Cover Everything Concealer. And we're gonna go wherever we need some extra concealing. And I'm actually just gonna use the velvet side of this sponge to kind of press it in. So I am loving the concealer, loving this method. It did really well with the concealer as well. If you just remember with the velvety side to press versus rub. So yes, so love this, love this. And now we'll move on to bronzer. I'll also use powder, but I'm gonna do that kind of before we move back onto the eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my LA Colors blush in Spice. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit on my cheeks. I didn't have a new blush today. Well, I have a new blush, but it's not really the right color for this eye look, so I'm saving it for another video. So now for bronzer, this is kind of an interesting thing. It's from e.l.f., but it's actually a powder, like a finishing powder. 
and this is in medium dark and I thought it would make a really great bronzer. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna kinda go a little light handed cause I can be a little, and I will, I'll always start in this part of my chin just to get some extra off and see what it's gonna do. So you just think outside the box if there's a powder that is too dark for your skin. You can definitely use it as a bronzer. I actually passed this up once before and the last time I was like, I really should pick this up and use it this way because you can always use a matte bronzer. I use a very light hand and probably could have gone a little lighter, but it works very, very well. And then I used a, that was literally just put my finger in it and like I said, a little of this goes a long way. It's not splotchy. You can do it however dramatic or not as you'd like. Just adds a really nice, healthy glow. So I love these jelly highlighters. I was not so sure I would like them when I first bought them. Um, like I said, I have all three shades that I found and love them. So now I'm gonna use some finishing powder and I'm just, you've seen this before. It's, it's my Hard Candy Translucent Loose Powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the velvet side of this sponge. Let's see if I can't use this to like apply the powder, especially under my eyes. That does work really well. And then I'm just gonna kind of spread it out with a brush. Okay, so now we're gonna finish up the eyes and finish the lips. So I'm gonna use my pencil liner now. This is, again is the Beauty Essentials Eyeliner. And this is just in, this is just a black eyeliner, nothing crazy. And like I said, I never have really high hopes for eyeliner from the Dollar Tree, especially like pencil eyeliner. So we will see, I'm gonna put this in my waterline. The waterline is the ultimate test because it is the hardest place for kind of eyeliner to go and it is not great to be completely honest in the waterline. So not great, I do like the LA Colors Auto Liner better and I very rarely use pencil eyeliner on the top of my eyelid so I don't know how it would perform there. It got the job done, it's just not the best, not the creamiest, not the most intense but that's okay, we're gonna move on. So to line underneath my eyes, I'm gonna use Inspiring to line under my eyes. So now I'm gonna use the shade Consider It for the inner corner of my eye, and I have a feeling this is gonna be really pretty. So now the eyes are done and I do love it. I think it's beautiful. So we're gonna move on to the lips. They had three different shades of lip gloss or lipstick when I was there. A clear with sparkles and they had like a kind of a nude shade and they had the shade here and this is the one I picked up. This is in Powerful. And I just thought this would be really pretty with these eyeshadow shades. And I don't have a lip liner but I'm just gonna go ahead and skip lip liner and just go in with this, because I'm end up making a mess anyway with lip liner, so. Okay, so a quick rundown of all the products we used today from the Be Beauty Essentials makeup line. So first, the eyebrow pencil. Again, see, it always works out. Like I said, I'll, I'm a, I have blonde hair, but I do like a darker brow. Very similar to the LA Colors one, but I do prefer the LA Colors one as of right now. Over this one, it has the brush on the outside and there's a little bit more tug to the LA Colors one, but a really nice eyebrow pencil for a dollar. Like I said, they had a couple different shades. So really, really not bad. If you don't like one that is too creamy, this is a good one, which I don't. I mess up my brows a lot. So really nice eyebrow pencil. Then the mascara, definitely not the worst mascara I have used from the Dollar Tree. In fact, maybe one of the better ones. Still not a miracle, you know, for my short lashes, but definitely, I would definitely pick this one up over some of the LA Colors ones that I have used from the Dollar Tree, mainly because it's a big tube, but it works every bit as good, if not better. Then we have the liquid liner, really, really, really nice. The brush is really nice. You can get a nice thin line. The product is very pigmented and rich. I don't know how matte it is, if you like a really, really matte liquid liner, but a really nice liner for a dollar, for sure. Then the eyeliner, the pencil liner, not my favorite. I prefer the LA Colors Auto Liner over this. But then again, you know, pencil liner is very hit or miss at the Dollar Tree, so not the best. Probably my least favorite product of everything I've used today. I went ahead and revisited this e.l.f. Beauty Silicone Sponge Blender and definitely works better with other products. So I am led to believe it was 
more so the LA Colors liquid makeup, which I do not like, that was causing problems with this, because today I really, really liked my result using the new color BB cream, as well as the concealer, and I used it for powder to kind of blot the powder under my eyes. So like I said in my last video, this was a fail, but it was a win in today's video with different products. This is the e.l.f. Cover Everything Concealer. Love this. It's great for cleaning up my brows, great for concealing, really creamy. It's great. I really love it to clean up my eyebrows. And of course, I love that I can get light because I do favor a lighter concealer. So, so, so far, I am a huge fan of this concealer. Then the e.l.f powder. Like I said, this is actually a setting powder, but I got medium dark because it's all they had and used it as a bronzer. I'm sure it's a wonderful setting powder. I've used e.l.f. setting powders before and I've always liked them, but a really nice matte bronzer too for lighter skin. So I'm really enjoying the result of this. Then the eyelashes, which I've used before, of course, beautiful lashes. I do have to trim mine, but really, really like these. These are the style Precious, and I can't remember if they have other styles. I'm sure they do. I just didn't see them last time I was at the Dollar Tree, and I know I've bought this particular style before. They have a nice thin band, just really, really, really nice lashes. Then the lip color, not my favorite. It's a little bit patchy, and it's a little bit sticky and now it's doing this weird thing where it's kind of coming off. So the lip color is not my favorite. I don't know if the other two shades are different. I think one was like a lip gloss and the other shade of lip color was more of like a taupe or a mauve. Um, but yeah, not a huge fan of this. This and the eyeliner are kind of a fail for me. And the last but not least are the eyeshadows and these are wonderful. They're very pigmented. They go on very creamy. They go on more intense when you use a wet brush. Of course, there's no variation in the sh in the shimmer or matte. They're pretty much all shimmers or satins, but that really, I don't think, has affected the look today at all. And I really do think all of these shades would make a really great one and done. You don't need to have all of them to create a look. I just tried to use as many of them today as I could, but definitely would make a beautiful one and done. Looks. I hope you enjoyed getting to see me finally test out this new brand of makeup from the Dollar Tree and tell you what I think of the products. Overall, very, very pleased. It's always exciting to see something new at the Dollar Tree, especially, especially in the makeup department, but really any department because on this channel we love the Dollar Tree. So if you did enjoy this video, show me you did by hitting that like button. Don't forget to share it with anybody you think may enjoy it all your friends that enjoy makeup, Dollar Tree oriented videos, all that good thing, definitely share this with them. Again, don't forget to binge watch my Dollar Tree makeup and haul playlist link down below. And yeah, tell me what you think. Have you tried any of these products? I know a couple of my Dollar Divas have tried some of these products. So definitely let me know if you've seen it yet and if you've tried any of the products and kind of what you think. Did they work, did they work for you the way they did for me? Yes or no? I definitely love to hear from you. So sorry I've been so missing this last week. I definitely miss you all when I am away and not able to film. I just have quite a few responsibilities from here to the end of the year, so I'm just gonna do the best that I can. I do miss you guys when I'm not here and filming videos for you all and testing makeup and all that good thing. So know that I do miss you all. Always happy to be here filming and I will see you in my next video.